Hey Anna, so this week you challenged me to read A Girl Named Digit by Annabelle Monaghan. Monaghan? Monaghan? I should really work on my phonics. So, it's about this girl, her nickname is Digit because she just can't help but see patterns and figure out stuff with numbers. Like, her brain does it automatically, she has no control over it. Which is really annoying for her because she just wants to blend in and be a normal teenager. Um, she's trying and she's doing a pretty good job of it at her high school until she sees on the television a code. And apparently the code is linked to some terrorists. And she is the only person that can figure out this code and how it relates to the terrorists. Um, I'm not really sure why she can do it as opposed to all the people who have been like professionally trained and have experience doing it, but... She gets put on the case with another FBI agent who is very young and very good looking. So, of course, there's the fling there, um, figuring out who the terrorists are and what all is going on. It's a pretty entertaining book. Um, I enjoyed reading it. It wasn't much substance to it, um, I, but I kind of enjoyed the struggle with the smart girl um, not wanting to be smart. Um, and then, like, kind of learning to embrace who she is. That's something that I went through in high school a little bit. Um, I hated being, and in college, actually. It was worse in college. I hated being the one who always knew the answer. The one that the class knew could be called on and we could, you know, have the answer, get the conversation going. I really hated that and I wanted to just blend in. So I kind of got where Digit was going from with all of that. Um, and I have slowly learned to embrace the fact that I'm a know-it-all. Um, and really enjoy that. So it was a really good book. I think I give it four out of five stars just because some of it was a little bit of a stretch for me, not really what I was looking for, but I definitely enjoyed reading it and I can't wait to see what you challenge me to next.